Okay, so it says here, um, it says here in verse 38, For in the day before the flood, people were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the, with, with a meal. And one will be taken and the other left. You understand that? Now, somebody said, oh, then, well, you know, the person that left is going to be the, the, the you know, the person that gets taken is going to be t taken to a bad place. But I studied the word, and the taken, the parallel model means to be taken um, as a friend or a companion. You understand? Yeah. So when he says they're going to be taken, he's taking these people as a friend or a companion, as a bride. They're being taken for a good reason. Right. You understand? The person that's being left is in trouble. Amen. You understand? Amen. The person that's being left is in trouble. Now, this is what the Lord was saying to me. Said, did you make that? Did you did you make up that doctrine? Or was it in the Bible before you were born? It was in the Bible before I was born. Well, if I said it, it's going to come true. Okay? If I said it, it's going to come true. And the Bible says that one day, two will be walking, one will be taken, and the other will be left. Okay? That's not me. That's the Bible. You understand? Okay, let's go to uh, Peter. Before I go to my last... Uh, Second Peter. Second Peter, chapter three. Okay, here it goes. Chapter 3, verse 3. It says, first of all, you must understand that in the last days, scoffers will come. Scoffing and following their own evil desires. They will say, where is this coming of he promised? For since the, the fathers died, everything goes on as it has since the beginning. But they deliberately forget. What does deliberately mean? On purpose. <laughs> That's what people do. I want you to know that. They deliberately forget that long ago God's word, um, God's word, the heavens existed and the earth was formed out of water and by water. By these waters also the world of that time was deluded and destroyed. So they forget that the world was once underwater. Yeah. But purposely. Okay? They forget that there was once a judgment on the earth. Okay? It says, by the same word, um, and the and the it says, by the same word, the present heaven and earth reserved for fire, being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. That's a whole other teaching. We're not going to get into that. So let's go back to Isaiah 57. Isaiah chapter 57. Okay, now watch this. It says, Hakodeshim Abad, the Lord. Now listen, Hakodesh means the righteous, okay? In chapter 157, it says, the righteous perish. 
If you're a righteous man, are you going to perish? Are you going to be destroyed? Okay. So, this is why the Lord told me, I want you to study Hebrew. The word perish is not used that. The word used there, the word avad is used there in Hebrew. Avad just happens to mean disappear. Okay? The word avad means disappear in Hebrew. Okay? So it's not saying the righteous perish. It's saying the righteous disappear. And then it says, and no one ponders in his heart. Then it says, devout men are taken away, and no one understands that the righteous have been taken away to spare them from evil. You understand? There's a reason why God has taken his church. There is a reason. He's going to spare us from what's coming. You understand? They got a lot of plans, and all of them are evil. I'm letting you know that right now, okay? They're not building, building guillotines so people can do bench press on them. They're not bench press. They look almost like a bench press, but the, the head part messes it all up. You understand? They did not build 600 concentration camps and put 500 caskets at each concentration camp for nothing. You understand? They have plans. It's amazing to me that evil people believe in the Bible but Christians don't. Because, you know how I know that they believe? They're preparing. Yeah. Wow! They, 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 but the Bible says that even demons believe in Jesus. Amen. Okay? They believe the word of God so much that they created viruship so that nobody can buy or sell. No one can buy or sell anything unless they have the mark. They created, it took a lot of money to create, and scientists to create this chip that's going to go in the hands of, of people and their forehead. It, it, it cost a lot of money to do that. Yeah. Why, did, why are they doing it? Because they believe the Bible. You understand? And not only do they believe it, they're acting in accordance yeah. to the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because they didn't write that people were going to be beheaded. That was written in the Bible thousands of years before they start making these guillotines. That's right. I gotta go back in my in my in my email and find the picture because I want to pull it up. We yeah, should put one at the front door of that door and say the Bible is true. <laughs> okay? <laughs> because people don't believe that that this event is going to happen in the world. It's going to happen. Amen. I'm gonna give you one more scripture. Let's go to Isaiah 26, since we're already in Isaiah. Amen. 26-20. It says, uh, go, my people, into your room and shut the door behind you. Go, my people, into your rooms and shut the doors behind you. Hide yourself for a little while until the wrath has passed by. See, the Lord is coming out of his dwelling place to punish the people of the earth for their sins. But what does he tell his people to do first? Go into your rooms and hide. Remember he said, wait a minute. He said, he said the, the ten virgins, he said, he took five and he said, and the door was shut. You understand? Right. When he said go into your rooms, he's talking about the wedding chamber. Right. And shut the door because you're the bride of Christ. Go into your rooms and shut the door. Why? Why? Oh, because I'm about to take care of some business. You understand? You go into your room, shut the door. Because my wrath, I've already promised you, my wrath is not for my church. Amen. My wrath is not for my bride. Yeah. But my wrath is for somebody. Right, right. Because they disobey my word. Amen. They pretend that they don't know who Jesus is. Woo. They know who Jesus is. Yeah. They know that Jesus Christ is real. You tell me. You tell me there's seven billion people in the world right now. Yeah. And since the creation of time, there have been maybe, let's say, uh, 
small estimate. This thing has been a hundred billion yes, people born yes. in the world since creation. Yes, yes. You have one man that they say, let's determine all time and calendars off of Jesus. Uh -huh. Everything's either BC or AD, right? right. So they, they, this man is so special. Out of all the billions of people born, he's so special that the whole world determines their calendar off his birthday. Right. Amen. You know he's real. Amen. You know he's real. Yes. But do, as Christians, do we know he's real? You understand? Because if we believed him, if we really believe that he said that in my father's house are many mansions, and if it were not so, I would have told you, but I am going to prepare a place for you that when I, that you may be with me where I am. So it's obviously in the face of Jehovah's Witness, he's coming to take us to be where he is. So if somebody's going to heaven, you understand? So he's taking us to be where he is. Yeah. That's important to know. Yeah. He's building you a home to stay where he is. Hallelujah. I believe the word of God. Amen. There are the, the Hebrews 11 says that we have a cloud of witnesses praying and cheering us on saying stay in the faith. Go ahead and repent. No, don't worry about you not perfect. We need to use Jack up when you accept the Christ. Just repent. Just keep on the road. Keep on the road. Stay in Christ. Yeah. There are witnesses that are praying for you. People who's out before you that are praying for you to make it into the kingdom. All of this is going on while we're sitting here. Yeah. This same Jesus says, oh, and by the way, when other people die who don't know me, they go to Hades and worms crawl on them and they burn until judgment day. Yeah, yeah. This is the same person that says, oh, in 70 AD, this is going to happen. Right. And this, this is going to happen in Germany. Right. And you know, I'm, listen, yeah. he's serious. Yeah, he is. That is serious. Yeah. God's word is true. Yeah. And, we, and we treat it like religious people. Right. Don't we care if you go to church? <laughs> All religious, right? I go to church, you know. God bless you. Where are you going this week? I'm going to a party. I'm trying not to get drunk. Cause you're religious. Amen. You don't even connect the fact that God is real. Amen. You understand? You got to connect the fact that this word is real yes. and that God is real. Yes. And if you if you if you handle it with respect, you'll find yourself in the kingdom of God. Amen. If you handle it with default. You find that you're hanging out with your best Christian buddy who's really a Christian, oh. right? right? While you're faking it. And she goes, where, where, where did she go? <laughs> ah, reality sets in. You understand? This is why God wants us to take this serious. Yeah. Man, I'm going to heaven. Amen. I'm telling you right now. I'm not playing with this. I'm not playing with this. I don't want no parts of sin. I don't want to play with it. I don't want to be around people who want to play with it. I love Jesus, and it's not so I can be a part of a rapture. Yeah. It's because right. I appreciate it. You know what? When I was in jail, if you brought me money and put it on my books, I was loyal to you forever. I just thought that was so cool, man. You brought me money. But if you die for me, and you hang on a cross for me, Woo, you really got my loyalty. You understand? Yeah. We need to have some loyalty toward God. And understand this word is going to happen. They're setting up for it. And we need to be actively living for Christ. Praise God. That's it. Amen. 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 Praise God. Yes.